It is so beyond important to come up with amazing content for your power posts whenever you decide to do them. Everyone's doing the same thing. They're doing before and afters, they're doing rank advancements, but showing vulnerability is actually one of the best things that you can do. Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. I am Scott Aaron, and each and every week I am going to come to you with simple, short, and powerful tactics and tips on what you can do each day, each week, each month, and each year to grow your network marketing business, income, and team. And just remember, network marketing is not easy, but it can be made easy with simple steps to bring you the success that you truly deserve. Welcome to episode 33 of the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. But before we get into today's con- into today's content, as always, if you are listening to this and you are a professional network marketer, you are an amateur network marketer, you are a seasoned network marketer, and you are looking to take yourself and your business to the next level and you're finding yourself kind of stuck, your business is going backwards and you're not using LinkedIn yet, which is the optimal place to find business builders, go to www.scottairn.net, set up a free 15-minute discovery call with me so I can learn about you, your business, your struggles, and how I can help you. So in today's content, we're going to be going over how to come up with amazing, amazing content for what people call in network marketing power posts. And power posts are typically done on Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is where people share the biggest breakthroughs from that week, a, a transformation if you're in a wellness company, a monetary rank advancement, things of that nature. I don't know why people wait for Sundays at 8 p.m. I feel this can be done any day of the week except Friday nights and Saturday nights. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. are not off limits. But I also feel that people are getting kind of lazy with the type of content they're putting out there. They're just copying and pasting what everyone else is doing. They're using the same transformation. They're using the same monetary rank advancement. They're using all the same stuff. And how are you going to impact your network a different way if you're posting the same thing as everybody else? So what I want to do with you guys today is give you my simple three-step process of how to come up with amazingly impactful, vulnerable, and meaningful content for your power posts. Now, it's a very simple process, and it is going to require you to dig deep. It's going to require you to dig deep. So number one, you're going to grab a piece of paper, and you are going to break this piece of paper down into three columns. So you're going to draw three lines up and down the paper. The first column, you want to write down the biggest or one of or a multitude of obstacles or obstacle that you had to overcome in your life. And for me, I've had obstacles I've had to overcome. Personal bankruptcy, two divorces, My father went to prison for 26 months. I was bullied and picked on. There's a lot of things that I had to overcome. Those were my obstacles, but it didn't stop me. But this is what you need to do. You need to get raw and real, and you need to be vulnerable. So number one, write a list of your biggest obstacles that you had to overcome. This is your anchor. This is what you're going to come back to. Number two, in the second column, You want to write down how those obstacles or the obstacle, if there's one, how did it or how did they make you feel? So write down the feelings. I felt helpless. I felt broken. I felt depressed. I felt sad. I felt lost. Write down all of the feelings that you felt from those obstacles. So that's number two. Column one, you're going to write down the obstacle or the obstacles you had to overcome. 
And column number two, you're going to write down how those obstacles made you feel. Number three, the final column, is what you learned about yourself and about your life from overcoming those obstacles, where you are now, what the biggest takeaways were, what you're passionate about now doing because of what you had to overcome. So it's what the obstacle was, how did it make you feel, and what did you learn about yourself and your life from that obstacle. Now, you're going to piece this together. And the best thing to do is you can use your own transformation or just a selfie of yourself. And here's an example of a really good power post. One of the biggest obstacles in my life that I had to overcome was at a very young age of 18 going on 19. My father went to prison for two and a half years. This left me feeling broken, lost, and unclear of what direction I wanted my life to go in. But what I learned from this experience in coming out on the other end, a more level-headed, inspired, and motivated man, I learned that no obstacle is too great to overcome because when you find your path and you're passionate about it, nothing will stop you from achieving the goals you have in your life. So that is an example of how you can take your obstacle how it made you feel and what you learned about it and you can turn that into amazing content. So I'm going to suggest for you guys to really start changing the game a little bit here. Start pushing yourself a little bit more. Start digging just a little bit deeper. Start doing just a little bit more. Because as I said on Facebook the other day, the people that do more are the people that get more. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. So again, thank you so much for checking out today's episode. And if you can go over to Apple Podcasts or iTunes and leave me a five-star rating, write a review, and share this with anyone that you feel could benefit from this. I would be so, so grateful. And again, if you would like to learn more about LinkedIn and how I can personally assist you in growing your network marketing business, head over to www.scotterron.net and schedule a free 15-minute coaching session with me today. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.